Hey everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Sid. I'm a first year computer science major at Georgia Tech and I just like doing cool stuff with code. So today what I'm going to be doing is using GitHub Copilot, which is GitHub's AI that acts as a pair programmer. So it does a lot of coding for you and like helps you autofill functions and stuff to make a Pokedex terminal app that uses the Poke API to let people search information about any Pokemon that they want to. So Poke API is like my favorite API when I'm just starting out in a new language to test if I really know it because it just lets you access a bunch of data about different Pokemon really easily like you know any Pokemon that you want all their abilities their types where you can find them in game a lot of really cool stuff and apparently a lot of people use it because it has 60 million API calls each month. So without further ado let's get straight into it. So I'm going to open up my VS Code and the way that you really interact with GitHub Copilot is one, you either write code and then it'll try and autocomplete the statement for you. So if I go like print the dog, then it should usually show something, but right now it's not, which is a little embarrassing, but you saw there was a flash on the screen there. But the more effective way to work with GitHub Copilot is to write comments just describing what you're going to do. And writing good comments is a form of programming in its own, I think. Um, so let's just start. This will allow users to search for information about Pokemon, yeah, because the file is in Pokedex, it will use the Poke, uh, it will use the Poke API uh, to get the information with the requests library, right? And that is true. It will also use the JSON library to parse the information. So let's get it to do our imports. So first of all, you obviously have to import requests, JSON, correct. Now, let's say that we have to make the actual search function for this program. Uh, the search function will take in the name of a Pokemon, name of the Pokemon, right? And return information about the Pokemon. This information will be its name, its type, height, weight, and abilities. Right, let's say that's what we want to know about this Pokemon. So let's start writing it. Def search, um, you know, some string that'll be taking in Pokemon. And let's just see if it can give us some sort of an idea. And, you know, right now it's kind of hard for it to give us something because we haven't really prompted it with anything. So let's start it out. Let's say make, oh. I saw something. The response from the Poke API. All right, so we're gonna get a response and then we're just gonna get our data. Name of the Pokemon. Uh, yep, the type of the Pokemon. I wonder if that's right. The height of the Pokemon, uh, the weight, and we also wanna check the abilities, so hopefully we can get that as well. Nice. And now we want to return the information to the terminal. Uh, to the terminal, and maybe the best way for us to do this is actually just to print it out. Uh, return the information to terminal by printing it out. Blah, 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 blah. You know, this isn't the most efficient way to do this, but it is doing it, which is honestly really, really, really cool. So let's just do a quick test to make sure that this works um, because I honestly don't know if it does. Uh, and then we can finish the rest of it. So first of all, let's start off by searching for uh, Pikachu. Is That is honestly what I was thinking. So search up Pikachu. And it actually does work. We get that Pikachu is the Pokemon's name, obviously, because that's what we search for. It's electric type. Its height is four. For what? I don't know. Maybe feet. Uh, weight is 60. Probably pounds. Abilities are static. Um, and that's it. That's awesome. That is really cool that it could do that in like, I don't know, even two minutes according to OBS or three minutes according to OBS. That is insane that you can just write comments and then it'll do this for you all by yourself and honestly this is it's not the most complex task because you just have to make a quick little api call using requests but it is really really cool and i think that you know if you're a programmer then you know that this is really interesting because it'll be able to save you a lot of time for you know menial stuff that would normally take a lot of time to type out but oh you already know how to do it so github copilot will do it for you anyways so let's actually make it so that it's interactive and then you can type something in in the terminal and have it you know search it for you so now we will prompt the user from in, for input uh, from the terminal, then output info about the Pokemon that they are searching for. 
Alright, so we're gonna do print. Right? And now, wow, that's cool. So, let's just get it started. Um, let's run it. And let's say I want to search for Bulbasaur. I get that Bulbasaur is, you know, Bulbasaur's name is Bulbasaur. It's a grass type. Height 7. 7 what? Again, I don't know. Weight 69. <laughs> nice. And its abilities are Overgirl. That's pretty cool that, again, we did all this in 41 lines of code. And that's just thanks to Python hiding a bunch of functionality behind a closed black box. And thanks to GitHub Copilot because it was able to just take these comments that aren't even that detailed and then actually output exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, if you want to try something similar to this on your own, then I would suggest, you know, setting something up with the GUI, like uh, GUI, make a web app maybe with uh, JavaScript and React that'll access the Poke API and make a Pokedex and make it look really cool. Because as of right now, this is awesome that you can come up with a small little idea and then GitHub Copilot can build it for you in five minutes. Uh, that's really all that I have to talk about. And honestly, I'm just a little bit awestruck because this is very cool. Um, I know it, you know, I don't sound the most excited, but this is a really hype. Uh, and if you have any ideas for what you want to see GitHub Copilot try to build next, uh, then leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure to join my Discord server link in the bio down below. And I hope you have a great day.